Chapter 796, Fight Bang! In the valley, the enormous monster snake fell to the ground with a bang. Fresh blood flowed, dyeing the ground red as a bloody scent stealthily spread. Ling Qingzhu's face was cool and indifferent as she landed from the air. After which, she arrived at the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond. A jade-like hand brushed apart the water, and slowly washed the bloody longsword. Lin Dong involuntarily rubbed his nose while he watched this scene. It seemed that Ling Qingzhu was very embarrassed and furious this time. However, he could understand why. If it was someone else, Lin Dong was certain that his fate would be similar to that of the monster snake. It was likely that the only man in this world who could continue to challenge her baseline in such a manner was Lin Dong. The messy and unclear relationship between the two had clearly made it impossible for them to view each other as ordinary people. This was also the reason why Ling Qingzhu was tolerating of Lin Dong's various excessive actions. Splash! Water flowed down the longsword, and landed into the pond, creating many ripples. Ling Qingzhu lowered her head and gazed at the face so beautiful that it could cause the downfall of nations reflected within the ripples. Her pearly white teeth involuntarily bit her lips. It seemed there were still some remnant traces of the warmth from earlier on her lips. That fellow seemed to constantly shatter the calmness of her still water-like heart. Ling Qingzhu was somewhat baffled. The matter five years ago had undoubtedly messed up both of their original paths. She had once thought that given her character, she should be able to achieve the state her master had described to her, the state of having her heart as calm as a mirror and being completely untroubled. However, that preposterous incident had caused her a tiny imperfection to appear on her bright mirror-like heart. Ling Qingzhu had used five years to weaken and bury away that tiny imperfection. And just when she had thought that she was about to completely forget it, that somewhat fuzzy figure was accompanied by a storm as it staggered with exceptional perseverance, and once again barged into her sights. The young man from back then had unknowingly already started chasing her footsteps. He had transformed tremendously during these five years. However, that exact same stubbornness from five years ago, had not been erased with the flow of time. Five years ago, a young man had once silently endured in a miserable manner before Lin Liang Tian. Now, he had become the most outstanding disciple amongst the younger generation of Dao sect. His achievements could even be considered top-notch amongst the younger generation of the entire eastern Qian region. Such improvement and metamorphosis was something that even Ling Qingzhu had difficulty ignoring at this moment. She was aware that it would perhaps no longer be easy for her to expel this person who had barged into her world again. Ling Qingzhu's expression was somewhat complicated as she gently pursed her lips. After which, she heard the soft sounds of footsteps being transmitted from behind her. Her delicate body stiffened unnoticeably. The complicated expression in her eyes also quickly withdrew. Lin Dong walked over from behind. After which, he sat down beside Ling Qingzhu. He tilted his head and watched the sight of her enchantingly bewitching face. Suddenly, he smiled and said, Do you still remember the words I spoke five years ago? I've forgotten. Ling Qingzhu lowered her long eyelashes and replied indifferently. I knew of the gap between the you and me in the past. Therefore, I struggled with everything I had. After you left back then, I also left Yan City by myself. After which, I honed and trained myself in the outside world. At that time, I only had two aims. To to kill Lin Liang Tian, and to stand before you again. The young man raised his head beside the pond and looked at the somewhat sinisterly black sky before laughing. I am not trying to boast to you. All that I wish to convey, is that your judgment of me is ultimately wrong. I have achieved what you had deemed impossible. Ling Qingzhu's delicate finger schemed over the longsword. Soon after, she turned her head and watched the brilliantly smiling young man. After a long silence, she finally spoke softly, You have struggled for five years because of those words? You should be aware that there were many times that you might have failed on that journey. There will be no chance for you to redo everything again should that happen. But I eventually succeeded. Lin Dong stretched his waist. 
he had roamed the great desolate province, charged out of the great Yan Empire and into the Hundred Empire War. Finally, he had entered eastern Xian region. There might be many dangers, but he had ultimately succeeded. Back then, I said that a woman I have slept with will definitely be mine. These words might appear a little vulgar now that I think about it but... Lin Dong smiled. His eyes stared directly at Ling Qingzhu and said, You are my woman. Swoosh. Water splashed and the brilliant long sword was accompanied by a chilling aura as it pointed at Lin Dong's throat. Ling Qingzhu looked at him, her voice was cold as she spoke, Do you truly think that I will not kill you? Lin Dong did not say anything. He stared at Ling Qingzhu. Those eyes were without fear. There was no trace of any intention to weaken his position. Ling Qingzhu gritted her teeth. Finally, she put away her long sword. She clenched her hand and said, It is best for you not to say such words. If these words reach my teacher's ears, she will kill you even if you are a Dao sect disciple. Lin Dong frowned. Every sect master of the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace must train the Dao of their hearts. A heart must be as clear as a mirror, and not a single speck of dust will be tolerated. Given her character, if my master knew about us, she will definitely intervene and help me remove the imperfection in my heart. Ling Qingzhu watched Lin Dong and said, You are that speck of dust, the imperfection in my heart. Dao of the heart. It is heterodoxy. Lin Dong knitted his brows tightly. Immediately, he looked at Ling Qingzhu and said, In your opinion, how should this imperfection in your heart be removed? Ling Qingzhu was clearly startled by this question. Originally, she thought that there was no need to think about the answer. At this moment, however, she had difficulty speaking under Lin Dong's gaze. Hence, she could only shake her head while feeling lost as she replied, I do not know. I do not know if you these words of yours are an attempt to get me to back off. However, my determination will never change. If your teacher wishes to stop me, I will wait until I am stronger than your teacher, before directly snatching you from the hands of the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. Lin Dong watched Ling Qingzhu, who had given the uncertain reply. A smile surfaced on his face as he grinned and declared. Ling Qingzhu felt neither able to laugh nor cry in the face of these words. She somewhat helplessly shook her head as she replied, Even the sect master of your Dao sect. Ying Sunzi, has to be polite to my teacher when he sees her. You should stop setting random goals. Lin Dong smiled and he did not say anything more on this topic. It was similarly possible for him to feel the complicated emotions Ling Qingzhu had towards him. This was already pretty decent. At the very least, she did not possess that indifference and alienation that she used to treat other men when facing him. From a certain point of view, this was quite a good start. Thank you, for what you did at the bottom of the pond earlier. Ling Qingzhu quietly sighed in relief when she saw the fearless Lin Dong had actually moderated himself. Soon after, she changed the topic and said. Why did you provoke that thing? Lin Dong frowned slightly. If Ling Qingzhu's intention was to heal herself, she could clearly do it at the middle of the pond. There was no need for her to intentionally head to the bottom of the pond. That skeleton should have some relations to my Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. I received calls from it after entering the pond. However, I did not expect that it actually intended on snatching my life force. Ling Qingzhu bunched her eyebrows together as she explained. Relations Lin Dong was startled. That skeleton's existence was clearly far older than the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace. Therefore, it was likely that there was no direct relation between the two. From the looks of it, it was probably some relation in martial arts or secret arts. No wonder that spirit emblem entered your body. Ling Qingzhu nodded. She could sense the addition of the majestic spirit emblem within her body. This was considered a lucky opportunity for her. It seems like this supreme purity celestial pond will lose its powers in the future. Lin Dong gazed at the supreme purity celestial pond with some regret. The rainbow colors within it were gradually fading. 
The reason this supreme purity celestial pond had appeared in unique devil region was clearly due to the protection of the ancient skeleton. Now that the skeleton had turned into dust, this place will likely once again be eroded by demonic chi in the future. Ling Qingzu nodded. Soon after, she stood up and said, let's leave. She had already achieved her goal for this trip. Clearly, there was no point in them for them to remain in this place. Lin Dong smiled and nodded when he heard this. He waved his sleeve, before a black light shot out from the distance. Finally, it was kept in his Kyunkin bag. It was the demon corpse that he had used to lure the monster snake away earlier. The two prepared to leave after the demon corpse was kept. However, Ling Qingzu had just moved her body when she suddenly became startled. She beckoned with her hand, and a golden light shot out from the space in front of her. Finally, it entered her hand. This is our Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace's Yuan Spirit message. What happened? Ling Qingzu received the golden light as her brows knitted slightly. Finally, her finger pressed on her smooth forehead. A change appeared on her face a moment later. What happened? Something happened to your people. Lin Dong asked in surprise when he saw this. No. Ling Qingzu shook her head. Her clear eyes looked at Lin Dong. After a brief hesitation, she said, It seems like you and King and the rest have attacked the Dao sect disciples. Chapter 797 Start of the Battle When Ling Qingzu's words sounded out, she could see the smile on Lin Dong's face disappear bit by bit, before a frightening gloominess slowly appeared. At the same time, an intensely cold murderous desire also surged. What happened? Lin Dong asked in a low voice. It seems like the Yuan Gate and Dao sect disciples met two days ago. They ended up in a dispute because of some friction. After that, Yuan King and the rest attacked, Ling Qingzu said. No matter how one looked at it, this matter was likely due to the Yuan Gate's provocations. After all, the the Dao sect disciples were weaker. Moreover, their main pillar of strength, Lin Dong, was absent. Even if they met Yuan Gate, it was likely that they would give in. Therefore, the reason that things had developed into such a state was most likely the Yuan Gate disciples' intention. After both parties exchanged blows, the Dao sect disciples have been progressing towards the teleporting formation area while Yuan Gate gave chase. It seems like the latter can no longer control themselves. Did my Dao sect disciples suffer any injuries or death? Lin Dong's eyes were dark and chilly as he inquired. Chen Gui is helping Dao sect disciples. He has temporarily stopped Yuan King and is shouldering quite a great deal of pressure. However, it is rumored that some injuries and deaths have still occurred. Ling Qingzu hesitated for a moment, but finally she did not hide anything. Bang! A brutal and evil aura suddenly surged out from Lin Dong's body when those words sounded out. His expression had also become exceptionally savage. It appeared as though he could hear the miserable cries from just before those Dao sect disciples died, as well as the proud arrogant laughter from the Yuan Gate disciples. Those trash. Lin Dong's body trembled slightly. His expression was ferocious. He knew that this day would arrive sooner or later, but he did not expect that Yuan Gate would be so impatient and begin their attack at such a time. Currently, the Yuan Gate and Dao sect disciples have been continuously fighting for a couple of days, should we immediately hurry to the teleportation formation area? Ling Qingzu softly asked. Lin Dong nodded. He lifted his head and looked towards the dark north. A scarlet light faintly flickered in his eyes, causing his ferocious face to appear exceptionally frightening. He was currently unaware of the exact number of dead and injured Dao sect disciples at this moment. However, he knew that if some accident was to occur to Kington, Ying Huan Huan and a few others, he would definitely massacre the Yuan Gate disciples. Not even one will remain. A brutal bloodthirsty aura spread out from Lin Dong's body. That brutality was even greater than the demons in Unique Devil Region. How much time do we need to reach the teleportation formation from here? Lin Dong asked in a gloomy voice. Five days. But if we hurry at full speed, 
we should be able to catch up to them in three days. Ling Kingzu thought for a moment before replying. Let's go. Lin Dong's body shook slightly, as the green dragon wings extended from his back. Without saying anything more, he flapped his wings, turning into a flash of green light that tore through the darkness, and swiftly rushed towards the distant sky at lightning speed. Ling Kingzu watched Lin Dong, who was covered all over by a savage aura as he left. Her hand involuntarily tensed, as a trace of worry flashed across the depths of her pupils. Since the beginning of this great sect competition, she was aware that Yuan Gate and Dao sect would definitely never come to a compromise. Dao sect had suffered great losses during the last great sect competition. Even the great senior sister of Sky Hall had been surrounded and killed by Yuan Gate. The battle this time around would likely surpass the previous one. In the previous great sect competitions, Yuan Gate would always gain the upper hand in the battle with the Dao sect disciples. This had also boosted the Yuan Gate disciples' arrogance. However, this time around, it was a little different. In this great sect competition, the Yuan Gate disciples' strength might appear to be stronger than the Dao sect disciples on the surface but Dao sect had Lin Dong this time. This person was usually good-natured. However, he would immediately turn into a murderous devil if someone touched his sensitive spot. He would become the greatest variable in this great sect competition. If the Yuan Gate was to act recklessly, it was likely that they would have to pay quite a terrifying price this time around. Ling Kingzu recalled Lin Dong's ferocious face, which was filled with a savage aura earlier. She was aware that the young man, who was helpless while being chased and attacked by her, was about to explode. It was likely that there would be a bloodbath in this great sect competition. Ling Qingzu sighed softly. Immediately, she ceased thinking about this matter. A green lotus formed under her feet. After which, she turned into a bright ray of light that quickly chased after Lin Dong. Swoosh! Two bright rays of light flashed across the dark sky at a shocking speed. The wind pressure from their fast speed shook the ground below, and formed a long scar over it. These two bright rays of light were naturally Lin Dong and Ling Qingzu, who had exited the depths of Unique Devil Region. They had already traveled for two whole days. The both of them did not even stop and rest for a moment during these two days. Green light covered Lin Dong's body. The green dragon wings on his back would flap occasionally, and his speed would soar greatly. At this moment, his face was still covered with a dark and solemn expression. They had met others who were participating in the great sect competition along the way. Lin Dong was able to obtain more information about the fight between the Yuan Gate and Dao sect disciples from them. In the battle between the two parties, one party was chasing, while the other was retreating. The ones chasing were naturally the Yuan Gate disciples, and the ones continuously withdrawing were naturally the Dao sect disciples. Clearly, Dao sect was using all of its strength to defend against the continuous chase and ruthless attacks by Yuan Gate. They fought while retreating. Perhaps one should say that they were still bitterly waiting for the return of the person who could truly lead them to victory against Yuan Gate. Lin Dong, we are about to reach the teleportation formation area, Ling Qingzhou looked into the distance, before turning towards Lin Dong beside her and commented. Yes. Lin Dong nodded but did not say anything else. If it was in the past, he might even tease Ling Qingzu a little. However, he did not have the mood to do so now. Ling Qingzu also understood Lin Dong's current state. Therefore, she pondered for a moment, before speaking, I am aware that a fight between you and the disciples of Yuan Gate is unavoidable. However, you should be careful of Yuan King. Oh. Lin Dong's eyes moved. He frowned and looked at Ling Qingzu before saying, he should be at the initial profound life stage, right? In the current great sect competition, it was likely that there were only three people amongst the younger generation who had truly reached the initial profound life stage. They were Yuan Kang, Ling Qingzu, and Chen Gui. An initial profound life stage expert was indeed extremely difficult to deal with. However, when the time came for them to exchange blows, Lin Dong would make him pay a price that he would never be able to imagine. 
Yuan Kang's strength is indeed at the initial profound life stage. However, in order to become the leader of the Three Little Kings, he also possess many tactics. Even I feel a faint sense of danger when facing him. Therefore, he is definitely not as easy to deal with as he appears on the surface. You need to be careful when you end up exchanging blows with him. Ling Qingzu muttered. Lin Dong eyes hardened. Ling Qingzu's strength was similar to Yuan Kang. However, the latter was able to cause her to feel danger. It seems like this Yuan Kang was not so simple. Many thanks. If it you did not accompany me to find the Supreme Purity Celestial Pond, Yuan Gate would have likely not attacked at this time, Ling Qingzu's eyes had some apology flashing across them. If I was around, they might not have dragged it out for so long, Lin Dong shook his head. His eyes looked into the distance, as a brutal aura once again rose within them. The reason they are chasing in this manner is likely because they plan on forcing me out. Haha, <laughs> it seems like Yuan King already hates me to the core. Alright, since you are so anxious to force me to show myself, I shall gladly accompany all of you this time around. However, the stakes that I play with are usually quite high. Let's use our lives as stakes this time. A bloodthirsty savageness climbed onto Lin Dong's lips. A trace of insanity was vaguely present. Unique Devil Region Teleportation Formation Area This was a vast land that was filled with rocks. Many mountains of various sizes stood around the place like humps. An evil aura faintly scattered from the mountains, before enveloping the land. At this moment, this messy and rocky terrain was already filled with a sea of people. Countless eyes looked backwards, as rushing wind sound appeared from all directions. Soon after, hundreds of people covered in a bloody aura appeared in their sights. They are from Deo sect. Some voices immediately sounded as everyone looked at this large group of people. However, there seemed to be a sigh in their tones. Word of the fierce battle between the Deo sect and Yuan Gate disciples had clearly already spread across the entire unique devil region like a whirlwind. Stop! Ying Xiao Xiao suddenly halted at the front of the Deo sect disciples. She waved her hand and cried out in an icy voice. Swoosh! The large number of disciples behind her immediately halted. Alertness surged out in their eyes. Hee hee! A faint and indifferent laughter was suddenly emitted from a mountain to their front when the Deo sect disciples halted. Finally, rushing wind sounds appeared. Numerous figures swept over from all directions. After which, they formed a semicircle that completely blocked the road towards the front. Yuan King. Ying Xiaoxio's eyes were ice cold as she watched the three individuals standing at the peak of the mountain. Her jade-like fist immediately tightened. It is unexpected that that person still refuses to show himself even after we forced all of you to such an extent. Haha, <laughs> his tolerance is really remarkable. It seems like he has completely lost all the arrogance he showed at the start, however, since he refuses to reveal himself, my fury can only be taken out on all of you. Atop the mountain, Yuan King smiled and looked at the Deo sect disciples in the distance. A sinister murderous intent slowly surged in his eyes. Chapter 798, Grudge A faint evil aura spread across the spacious rocky terrain. At this moment, it seemed as though the air itself had solidified. This spot was not far from the teleportation formation to leave unique devil region. Therefore, it could be considered to be near the end of the great sect competition. However, many people knew that the real show had just begun. Competition was present amongst the eight super sects of eastern Qian region. All of them were considered each other as opponents. However, they usually exercised some restraint. The only exception was Yuan Gate and Deo sect. As the strongest super sect in eastern Qian region, the actions of Yuan Gate were naturally a little overbearing. This caused the remaining super sects to feel some dissatisfaction. However, there was nothing they could do. After all, Yuan Gate was simply too powerful and its three sect masters were all renowned individuals in eastern Qian region. Although Deo sect was a little inferior to Yuan Gate, they were still one of the eight super sects, 
and their foundations were naturally not weak. There had always been a grudge between these two parties. However, the real reason this grudge had grown to such an extent was because of a monstrous genius known as Zhou Tong, that Dao sect produced a hundred years ago. Outsiders did not really know much about what had happened back then. All they knew, was that ever since Dao sect produced that individual called Zhou Tong, all the prestige of the younger generation from that time seemed to have accumulated on him. So much so that even Yuan Gate's three little kings from that time were all defeated by Zhou Tong, and the Yuan Gate disciples were completely dispirited during that great sect competition. Amongst those three little kings, one had been killed, one injured, and the last was sent fleeing. That particular great sect competition was likely the one time where the Dao sect disciples felt the proudest. Although they had paid a significant price, it was not worth mentioning when compared to the losses suffered by Yuan Gate. Something else seemed to have occurred after the competition. Suddenly, a shocking news spread. The Dao sect disciple, Zhou Tong, had charged into Yuan Gate alone, killed three great elders of Yuan Gate and turned the place upside down. Finally, he directly forced a Yuan Gate sect master to put aside his pride and take action. Only then was Zhou Tong killed. This matter had undoubtedly stirred an earth-shattering commotion in eastern Xian region at that time. Everyone was stunned by Zhou Tong's boldness and ferocity. Just how strong must one be in order to do something as earth-shaking as charging into the Yuan Gate headquarters alone? Zhou Tong's death had also stirred the fury of Dao sect. At that time, Zhou Tong undoubtedly possessed an extremely respected position in the hearts of the Dao sect disciples. Hence, when news that he was killed by a Yuan Gate sect master reached Dao sect, the Dao sect disciples were completely furious. Cries of revenge rose within the sect. At that time, Yuan Gate and Dao sect were at the brink of a war. Everyone were clearly aware of just how tragic it would be when two super sects waged a war. However, the war ultimately did not erupt. Under the suppression of Dao sect master Ying Suanzi and some of the upper echelons, this matter ultimately died down. However, bone deep hatred would not diminish with the flow of time. Instead, it would only burrow deeper into one's heart. Hence, a war between Yuan Gate and Dao sect might not have occurred, but the relationship between both parties was quite terrible. This had resulted in both parties being unable to be at peace each time they met in subsequent great sect competitions. An example was the last great sect competition. The Yuan Gate disciples still attacked despite Dao sect admitting defeat. They surrounded and killed the great senior sister of Sky Hall back then, Wang Yan's blood sister. These grudges and enmity accumulated again and again, until now. Many people in the sky and on the mountains did not belong to Yuan Gate or Dao sect. They watched the familiar face off in the distant rocky terrain, as all of them sighed quietly. It seemed like this great sect competition was destined not to be a peaceful one. However, they wondered if Dao sect would become as miserable as they had been in the past. The Dao sect disciples stared at the Yuan Gate disciples in an unfriendly manner, while everyone else looked on. Those eyes of the Dao sect disciples contained a rich hatred. Ying Xiaoxio's face was frosty as she watched the situation in front of her and clenched her hand tightly. She was aware that the so-called peaceful passing was no longer possible. A great battle between both parties was inevitable. Yuan Kang, it is merely a great sect competition. There is no need to do things in such a manner, right? Chen Gui frowned. He looked at Yuan King in the distant sky and spoke in a deep voice. Haha, I did not wish for things to develop to this extent as well. However, I cannot stop the repeated provocations of some individuals. If I do not use resort to such means, others might think that our Yuan Gate is easily bullied. Yuan King softly chuckled. However, since you, Chen Gui, has spoken, I must give you some face. As long as they are willing to surrender Lin Dong and let us punish him, we will not attack them. What do you say? In your dreams. Ying Huan Huan's pretty face was immediately covered in frost as she cried out coldly. Senior brother Chen Gui, why bother wasting words with him? Hand over brother Lin Dong? 
I might as well hand you over. Kington rolled her eyes at Chen Gui and said. Chen Gui helplessly let out a bitter laugh. I am not the one who asked to hand over Brother Lin Dong. His gaze once again looked towards Yuan King after his words sounded. He spread his hands and said, Looks like there is nothing to discuss then. Humph, you truly do not know how to appreciate kindness. Ying Xiao Xiao, you should be aware of the hefty price your Dao sect will have to pay in an all-out battle. Are you certain that you are willing to do this for Lin Dong? Lei Qian laughed coldly. Who do you think you are? You want my Dao sect to pay a hefty price? I don't believe that your side will end up any better. Wang Yan's eyes turned dark and chilly as he cried out. Even a defeated foe dares to act so arrogant. It looks like your lucky escape last time has caused your confidence to soar significantly, hey? Lei Qian stared at Wang Yan and laughed ferociously. You can come and try me. Wang Yan's face was filled with ferocity. Majestic Yuan power spread from his body. His strength was actually far stronger than an ordinary expert at the peak of the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. There seemed to be some vague traces of life qi mixed within it. Over this period of time, Wang Yan and Ying Xiao Xiao had refined the profound life pill, and a faint life qi was born within their bodies. This enabled them to touch the door to the profound life stage. They were much stronger than before. You have actually improved a little. However, with just this faint bit of life qi, you still do not possess the qualification to act so arrogantly before me. Lei Qian had clearly also sensed that Wang Yan had become much stronger. However, he still laughed coldly and ridiculed. What do you say now? The foldable fan in little spirit King Ling Zhen's hand fanned gently. The corners of his mouth formed an icy smile as he watched the Dao sect disciples. After which, he looked towards Yuan King and inquired. What do I say? Since they refuse to hand that person over, they should not blame us for being merciless. Yuan King replied faintly. There was a rich murderous intent surging in his eyes as he spoke. They had suffered multiple losses at Lin Dong's hands during this great sect competition. Even the pure Yuan treasure that they had originally obtained in the Burning Sky ancient stash was lost because of Lin Dong's interference. If it was not because they were quick to flee, it was likely that they would have been killed by the red-robed person. Such a loss was clearly difficult for the extremely proud Yuan King to endure. Moreover, the Dao sect disciples had always been beaten until they no longer had spirit by Yuan Gate during the past great sect competitions. If any accident occurred this time, it was likely that even their reputation amongst the Yuan Gate disciples would be damaged. In that case, let's do it. The icy smile on Ling Zhen's mouth became even wider when he heard this. He was already anxiously waiting to see the panic and hopeless expressions on these Dao sect disciples. Yuan King smiled indifferently. After which, the three of them slowly stepped forward as majestic Yuan power surged out. In an instant, it appeared as though all the Yuan power in the area had vaguely started to boil. The surrounding onlookers felt their hearts pound a little harder when they watched this scene. They knew that Yuan Gate was about to attack. Huff. Chen Gui let out a deep breath. After which, he stared at Yuan King and took a step forward, I will stop Yuan King. Thank you brother Chen Gui. Ying Xiao Xiao felt some gratitude when she heard this. Lin Dong was currently not around. All they could do was rely on Chen Gui to stop Yuan King. News of the situation here has already spread throughout the entire unique devil region. Lin Dong should have received it. As long as we hold on, he will be able to hurry here. Chen Gui hesitated for a moment but still ended up nodding. He had seen Lin Dong's battle with Lei Qian. The former was indeed quite powerful. However, there was still quite a big gap when compared to Yuan Kang. Hence, he did not really understand the confidence underlying Ying Xiaoxio's group. Nevertheless, he did not say anything more despite his incomprehension. I will deal with Lei Qian. Wang Yan held a heavy black sword in his hand and grunted. Ying Xiaoxiao nodded. After which, she raised her head. 
Her eyes contained some chilliness as they locked onto the little spirit King Ling Zhen. She said, Leave Ling Zhen to me. Huan Huan, Ching Ye, the two of you will lead the other Dao sect disciples and stop the remaining Yuan Gate disciples. Ying Huan Huan and Ching Ye nodded heavily. The former extended her jade-like hand as the crimson heavenly phoenix zither appeared with a flash. My fellow disciples! Ying Xiao Xiao slowly inhaled a breath of air that seemed to have become icy cold because of the tense atmosphere. Her eyes rotated and swept over all the Dao sect disciples' faces. Please strengthen our Dao sect. Wild excitement surged into the eyes of all the Dao sect disciples at this moment. At the same time, an unusually deep roar resounded in an orderly fashion. Strengthen our Dao sect. Chapter 799 the disciples' battle. An unusually intense feeling suddenly began to spread after the roar from the Dao sect disciples resounded over the rocky terrain. Countless pairs of eyes from the surroundings gathered on these Dao sect disciples. Their faces did not contain even the slightest fear even though they were about to face Yuan Gate. Instead, there was a concentrated craziness. Under this craziness, surged a hatred that was difficult to conceal. Yuan King looked at the spirited Dao sect disciples in the distance. The corners of his mouth lifted into a mocking smile. Soon after, he waved his hand in an indifferent manner. Do it! Bang! His voice had just faded when several majestic Yuan power fluctuation began to erupt from the black mass of Yuan gate disciples behind him. Gazes that contained unfriendliness locked onto their front one by one. The six great spirit generals of Yuan Gate were the first to rush forward from behind Yuan King. Behind them, the Yuan Gate disciples closely followed like flood water. Charge! Ching Yi's eyes were red as he watched the flood water like Yuan Gate disciples surging forward, as a deep roar emerged from his throat. In the next moment, his body had already taken the lead to charge forward. Boom! The hostile atmosphere of the place shattered following the charge from the red-eyed disciples from both sides. Thick murderous intent and sounds of fighting rose towards the sky. The countless surrounding gazes contained some seriousness and shock as they watched the two torrents that screamed forward. In the next moment, the torrents collided with a bang before their eyes. Bang! Monstrous killing aura spread upon their collision. After which, vast and mighty Yuan power wildly unfurled. Numerous powerful martial arts were unleashed in an instant. Finally, they ruthless collided against the enemies in front. There was no longer any mercy at this moment. All their attacks sought blood. The Yuan King trio watched the torrents collide together with cold and indifferent faces. After which, they stepped on the air and slowly walked forward. The torrent automatically spread apart before them. Huff. Chen Gui, Ying Xiao Xiao, and Wang Yan stared at the Yuan King trio from afar. They also inhaled a deep breath. Soon after, their bodies moved, transforming into rays of light as they rushed out. You deal with Chen Gui? There should be no problem right? Currently, many people think that you cannot handle him. Ling Zhen smiled teasingly at Yuan King and said. There will no longer be anyone who believes such things in future. Yuan King indifferently replied. Leave Wang Yan to me. This time around, I will not allow him to escape. Lei Qian sinisterly looked at Wang Yan and said. In that case, I will deal with Ying Xiao Xiao. It is unfortunate that such a beauty would have to be destroyed. Truly a regretful matter. Ling Zhen fanned the foldable fan in his hand and said with a smirk. Stop uttering nonsense. Attack and finish them off quickly. Yuan King frowned slightly and lightly shouted. His body shot out, transforming into a ray of light that blocked Chen Gui. Next, Ling Zhen and Lei Qian moved at the same time and appeared in front of Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan respectively. Wang Yan, in a moment I will see if you still have the face to act arrogantly before me. Lei Qian stood in Wang Yan's way. The savage smile on his face grew increasingly whiter as he mocked. Wang Yan's eyes were dark and cold. His hand slowly gripped the heavy black sword tightly. After which, his body suddenly rushed out. 
An afterimage appeared, containing a sharp evil sword aura as it pierced towards Lei Qian's throat at lightning speed. Humph! Lei Qian let out a cold snort when he saw this. He clenched his hand and a silver lightning blade appeared. He did not dodge Wang Yan's attack. Instead, he took a step forward and furiously threw a blade glow. Clang! A clear metallic sound suddenly unfurled in the air along with sparks and a wild wind. Two figures were instantly engaged in a life and death battle. Haha, <laughs> such anxiousness! Ling Zhen watched the two individuals who unleashed lethal attacks the moment they met, and could not help but smile. Soon after, he grinned and gazed at Ying Xiao Xiao, before speaking in a polite and refined manner, I am Ling Zhen. I have long heard of the name of the great senior sister of the Dao Sex Sky Hall, Ying Xiao Xiao. Today. Swoosh. However, he had yet to finish his sentence when Ying Xiao Xiao had already rushed forward with a three feet sword in her hand. The pointed sword mercilessly attacked the fatal spots on Ling Zhen's body. Oh, you are even more anxious, Ling Zhen chuckled. However, this smile was a little dark and cold. He whirled the foldable fan in his hand, and it grew to several times its original size while emitting a glow. Like a shield, it blocked all of the sword attacks that were rushing over. In that case, don't blame me for ruthlessly picking a flower, Ling Zhen narrowed his eyes. A cold light flashed across them. He laughed softly as his body turned into a light figure that rushed forth. The foldable fan pressed gently on the empty air a sinisterly cold wind directly tore through the air and blasted at Ying Xiao Xiao. A grave expression flashed across Ying Xiaoxiao's eyes when she saw this. The Yuan power within her body circulated at its maximum as she stepped forward to face the attack. As the fires of battle burned all around, two figures stood at the most central area. The two figures faced each other at a distance of less than ten feet. An extremely shocking fluctuation spread out from both of their bodies. This fluctuation practically surpassed everyone else present. These two figures were naturally Chen Gui and Yuan Kang. The surrounding gazes penetrated through the chaotic fights and gathered onto these two individuals. Both of them were extremely renowned younger generation members in the eastern Xian region. One was an imposing and formidable individual, who was ranked first on the sex wanted list while the other was the leader of the Yuan Gate's Three Little Kings. Both of them possessed a monstrous talent and were extremely powerful. It was rumored that they had even reached the initial profound life stage. Forget about the younger generation, their strength allowed them to be ranked amongst the experts even within the entire Eastern Xian region. There was a diverse opinion on which of the two were stronger. The two of them had once exchanged blows, but they did not fight with their full strength. That outcome could only be considered a draw. Hence, many people were undoubtedly extremely curious about the battle between the two. They truly wished to find out who amongst these two renowned younger generation members was the stronger one. You should not have intervened in the matter between our Yuan Gate and Dao sect. Yuan King looked at Chen Gui in front of him. Subsequently, he glanced at the battle that had erupted over this place. However, he was not anxious to fight and spoke with an indifferent tone. Haha, I can do whatever I want without asking for your opinion. The ghost mask wearing Chen Gui appeared to rather ghastly as he replied with a slight chuckle. Since he was able to become the number one individual on the sex wanted list, he was clearly no ordinary person. Others might be afraid of Yuan Kang, but he was not. Yuan Kang involuntarily shook his head when he heard this. The cold aura in his eyes slowly became colder. Back then, we had a brief and hurried fight, and I really have not gotten enough of it. Since we have met today, let's end it. I will be happy to accompany you. Chen Gui said. Yuan King smiled indifferently. He slowly spread out his hands. Immediately, waves of extremely shocking Yuan power surged out from his body like flood water. That vast and mighty power directly turned into a churning wave behind him, as it rumbled in the sky. Chen Gui's eyes flashed when he saw this. Monstrous grayish-black Yuan power that was filled with a dark yin aura surged out from his body and transformed into a monstrous cloud. 
both of them had reached the initial profound life stage. That vast and mighty Yuan power was undoubtedly many times stronger than the other disciples. Trust me, you will regret your decision today. Yuan King slowly clenched his hand. An extremely simple black metal sword flashed and appeared. He stared at Chen Gui, as an unusual glow flickered within his eyes. It is perhaps a little too early to say such words. Chen Gui clenched his hand. A black sawtooth blade with ghost patterns appeared in his hand. The large blade was lifted, and pointed towards Yuan King in the distance as he faintly smiled. Do it. Allow me to witness just what level the leader of the Yuan Gate's three little kings has reached. Yuan King stared at Chen Gui. The corners of his mouth slowly lifted to form a sinister arc. In the next instant, an afterimage appeared, while his body turned into a shadow that rushed out. Monstrous Yuan power whistled out in a flash. A shocking face-off had instantly begun. Chapter 800, Chaotic Battle Bang Bang Incomparably berserk Yuan power undulations wildly unfurled across the area. A thick bloody scent mixed with killing desire permeated the sky. At this moment, it appeared as though the sky had been dyed dark red. The spacious rocky terrain was currently in complete chaos. Two torrents clashed together. No unnecessary words were spoken. Yuan power circulated and many martial arts were unleashed. Finally, it was ferociously directed by the many red-eyed individuals at the enemy in front of them. Such a chaotic battle could only be described by one word, desperate. Boom! A densely packed crimson light rose from the battlefield. Ying Huan Huan sat down amidst this cluster of light. Her crimson heavenly phoenix zither was placed over her knees. A pair of delicate and perfect jade-like hands glittered with a faint fluorescence as they landed on the zither. Currently, there were two individuals with cold smiles standing in front of Ying Huan Huan. They were both Yuan Gate Spirit Generals, and had already stepped into the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. In the short couple of minutes earlier, the both of them had severely injured over a dozen Dao sect disciples. Finish her off. These two Yuan Gate Spirit Generals locked onto Ying Huan Huan, who was in their way. They exchanged glances, before they immediately rushed out simultaneously in an extremely well-coordinated manner. Ying Huan Huan's usually pretty and lively face was filled with frost as she watched these two charge at her with ferocious expressions. Her large eyes stared at the two Yuan Gate Spirit Generals, while an icy blue color surged deep within her eyes. Boom! Delicate fingers strummed the zither strings. Soon after, they suddenly flicked as a melodious zither music sounded out. Two extremely wild and violent crimson sonic waves hurtled out in an instant. They possessed exceptionally shocking speeds as they ferociously slammed onto the two figures that were charging over. Bang! The sonic waves exploded on the duo's bodies. An unbridled and aggressive force directly jolted back the duo until they withdrew miserably. Their eyes were already packed with a solemn expression when they landed on the ground again. The current Ying Huan Huan had also made a breakthrough to the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage a couple of days ago. With the help of the Heavenly Phoenix Zither in her possession, she was already able to stop two Yuan Gate Spirit General by herself. The both of you will now pay for harming my Dao sect disciples. A cold aura covered Ying Huan Huan's face. Her eyes were icy cold as she observed those two who had some surprise on their faces. Soon after, those delicate hands suddenly fell, and a monstrous crimson light that mixed with a clear sonic wave resounded. Sharp sonic wave attacks swept towards the two Yuan Gate Spirit Generals from all directions. The Yuan Gate still has four Spirit Generals. Ching Ye glanced at Ying Huan Huan's battleground in the distance. Soon after, his eyes grimly looked towards four other directions. The Yuan Gate disciples at those places possessed an extremely fierce momentum while being led by the other four spirit generals. I will deal with one of them. The great senior brother of the Flood Hall, Mu Li, stated in a deep voice. He was powerful enough to fight with a nine Yuan Nirvana stage expert. Although he might not able to defeat the other party, stopping one should not be a problem. I can also only deal with one of them. Ching Ye clenched his teeth. 
He had similarly successfully endured a Nirvana tribulation during this period of time, and had stepped into the Nine Yuan Nirvana stage. This strength however, was only equal to one spirit general. After all, he did not have a pure Yuan treasure aiding him. What should we do about the other two? Mu Li frowned. It was extremely difficult for an ordinary disciple to deal with a Nine Yuan Nirvana stage practitioner. If they were left to their devices, it would be a tremendous blow towards the morale of the disciples. Ching Ye knitted his brows tightly, feeling helpless. The Yuan Gate was stronger than them. All they could do was to try their best in such a situation. Leave the last two to me. A clear voice suddenly sounded from the side while Ching Ye was feeling helpless. After which, Ching Ye saw a slim figure in dark black dress carrying an oversized giant black sickle as she walked out. To his surprise, it was Kington. You, the Ching Ye duo were stunned as they gazed at Kington. I will deal with those two. Kington looked towards the two Yuan Gate Spirit Generals. She gripped the black stickle in her hands and repeated herself. Will you be able to manage? Ching Ye could not help but ask. He was a little worried that Kington was trying to show off. Should an accident happen? Kington glanced at him but did not say anything in response. Soon after however, Ching Ye felt an extremely dark and fiendish black light suddenly surge out from Kington's body. The air where the black light spread seemed to even show traces of solidifying. What a dark and terrible Yuan power! Ching Ye and Mu Li were shocked as they watched Kington, who was wrapped in black light. The latter's Yuan power was a little different from their own. Their Yuan power was a blending of yin and yang, however, Kington's Yuan power was an extremely pure yin. I'm heading out. Kington did not have any intentions of tarrying. After uttering those words, her lovely figure turned into a flash of black light as it rushed out. Finally, her stickle danced and two unusually dark and chilling black lights swept towards those two Yuan Gate Spirit Generals. Humph, where has this little girl come from? You are courting death. The two spirit generals immediately laughed in anger when they saw that Kington actually dared to attack them. They moved and pounced out like a tiger and leopard. Ferocious and unrestrained palm wines enveloped Kington. Swoosh swoosh. Kington did not pull back in the face of their attacks. An strange cold glint flickered on the black stickle in her hands, and it suddenly cleaved forward in the next moment. Chi. The stickle struck. It was possible to see the space in front of it being ripped apart as cracks formed. In a flash, the sharp blade appeared above a spirit general's head. It looked as though Kington's attack had penetrated through space. Clang! A sword glow shot out from the side and blocked the descending blade. Only then did the spirit general withdraw in panic. However, a piece of meat at the top of his head had already been cleaved off. Immediately, fresh blood began flowing down. Be careful. The stickle in her hands is a little strange. The other spirit general's eyes hardened upon seeing this and cried out in a low voice. Kington glanced at the two shocked faces. Without further ado, the black stickle in her hands was swung once again. Sharp winds swept out anew, wrapping the duo within it. Those two spirit generals also did not dare to be the slightest bit slow as they hurriedly focused and fought with their full strength. We should also start. Ching Ye and Mu Li sighed in relief when they saw that Kington was actually able to stop two spirit generals. They exchanged glances, before their bodies flew out and rushed into the battlefield together. Finally, they blocked the last two Yuan Gate spirit generals. Bang Bang! Cries of battle surged from the rocky terrain into the sky. At a glance, everyone was red-eyed and bloodthirsty. Occasionally, someone would spit out blood as he was sent flying backwards. They would land outside the battlefield, and no one could tell whether they lived or died. Both parties did not show any mercy when they fought. This was not some sparring competition. Instead, it was a genuine fight between enemies. A large group of Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace disciples stood on a mountain some distance from the rocky area. At this moment, there was a slight change in their expression as they watched the life and death battles before them. 
scarlet light continued to be reflected in their eyes. They are all engaging in all-out bloody battles, the enmity between Deo Sect and Yuan Gate is indeed difficult to mediate, a person within the crowd sighed. The Deo Sect and Yuan Gate disciples were like exceptionally unreasonable enemies when they met during the Great Sect competitions. When they fought, it was as though they possessed a irreconcilable vengeance with the other party. The overall strength of the Yuan Gate disciples is after all a little stronger. It is a little unwise for Deo Sect to fight head-on against them in this manner, Wu Kun watched the blood-red battlefield before him. His eyes contained a rather grave expression as he spoke. That's right. Moreover, I wonder where the Deo Sect's Lin Dong has run off to, could it be that he is really afraid of Yuan King and doesn't dare to show himself? A person interrupted. Big Brother Lin Dong isn't afraid of Yuan King. A person at the side immediately issued a rebuttal the moment the voice sounded. That person tilted his head to take a look, only to see that it was Su Ruo, who had some fury on her pretty face. Immediately, he laughed dryly and did not dare to speak any further. Su Ruo's eyes turned towards the battleground below. The fight there was extremely tragic. Deaths and injuries had gradually appeared amongst the Deo sect disciples. The miserable screams that rang out one after another clearly told Su Ruo that this was no longer some practice sparring. Instead, it was a true battlefield. The most critical battle is still the one between Chen Gui and Yuan Kang, Wu Kun lifted his head and looked towards the sky above. Monstrous Yuan power surged wildly from that spot as two ghost-like figures crossed each other at lightning speed. A low thunder-like sound could be heard each time they collided. Senior brother Wu Kun, who has a higher chance of victory? A disciple asked. Wu Kun hesitated a little when he heard this. Only then did he reply, King Zhu had said that Yuan King is an extremely dangerous person. Even she would have difficulty defeating him. Chen Gui might also possess quite a strong reputation, but perhaps. Yuan King will have a higher chances of victory. Su Ruo by the side felt her heart tighten slightly when she heard this. She clenched her fist tightly and turned her head. Those eyes of hers were a little anxious as she watched the horizon. She knew that once Chen Gui was defeated at Yuan Kang's hands, the Dao sect would suffer a complete defeat. Big Brother Lin Dong, you need to hurry back. Two rays of light rushed past the sky with extreme speed far from the location where the big battle had erupted. The low sonic boom that was created from their high speed attracted many gazes from below. Lin Dong's expression was taunt. He lifted his head and peered into the distance. There seemed to be a bloody scent spreading from that spot. Senior sister Xiao Xiao, all of you must wait for me. Lin Dong clenched his fist tightly. The green dragon wings on his back flapped as his speed once again soared to its limit.